Hi, this is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Doc channel on YouTube. We have an interesting problem to solve here. How do you evaluate the inverse trick function? The trick is always this. Recognize this one, so long as I give an inverse of trick, it's always an angle. Okay. Now, it's different than if you were given sine of, uh, let's say, 60 degrees. That's equal to radical 3 over 2. Okay, this angle goes into the sine. But the minute they give you inverse sine, you always have to recognize this whole thing is equal to an angle. Once you realize that, it's pretty easy because here, the equation of inverse becomes sine of theta is equal to minus radical 2 over 2, which is really radical 2 over 2, okay, sine of theta. From there, you have two ways we can figure out what theta makes this angle. One way is we draw a sine curve okay, from 0 to 2 pi. And we find where the y value is. So it's radical 2 over 2, so it's roughly 0.7 or so. Okay, And then you see there's two angles that meets that criteria. Let me draw it again. So here's the sine curve, 0 to 2 pi, and I found the value I'm looking for, and I draw a line here. So there's angle 1 here, angle 2 here. Okay, in order to find the angle, here's pi. Okay, and I know this value is 45 degrees. So angle 1 here is pi plus pi over 4. Okay, and angle 2 over here, this one is 2 pi minus pi over 4. Okay, so my two angles are theta 1 is equal to uh, 5 pi over 4, and theta 2 is equal to 7 pi over 4. Okay, that's, a, that's one method. Another method is you can draw the unit circle. Sine is the y value, so of course we're looking at quadrant 3 and quadrant 4. Okay, so let's look at those two quadrants. Uh, at 45 degrees, you have one here, and you have one here. That's where the terminating is. So once you start, you always start from the positive x, and you go counterclockwise. So the way you're going to go, first the angle is over here, which is pi plus pi over 4, just like before, because this is pi, okay, pi over 4. And the other one is, of course, if you go travel all the way, almost to the end, but it's 2 pi short of pi over 4. Okay, you get exactly the same answer. So it's 5 pi over 4, and this is 7 pi over 4. Okay, so here's the answers. All right, hope this helped. Have a confident day.